Good afternoon again, everybody. It is August 7th, 2022, Sunday. It's the next update video for the Supertunia Vista window boxes here. The bubble gums first, as you can see, more flowers since the last video, because finally we've had a let up on a lot of the rain that was destroying most of the flowers. Still a lot of green, nothing like the video that you saw back on 4th of July a month ago. There's still a lot to go. I recently just ran out of fertilizer, so I ordered some more. And I'm gonna go back to using the Proven Winners fertilizer. And I'm just gonna use that for the rest of the year. So a lot of growth, getting even closer there to the bushes again. Seems like it's flowering a little more on this side than the right side. Tons of green, tons of flower buds that wanna pop out everywhere, you can see. They're everywhere. Been watering twice a day, or trying my best to, depending if I have time. And probably soon here, I'm gonna to have to push them away from the window like I used to do, that you've seen in other videos. Then we're gonna go over here to the Jazzberry, which are doing the best and look the best. This is the best they've ever looked all year, which is pretty interesting. They're also probably as big as the bubble gums as far as the growth. Remember, all these were cut back. Now the fuchsia is looking good here, but you see one of the plants right there is having some problems. I'll take you up there. Something's not quite right with it. Remember, there's six in here and the, and the fifth one right there is struggling. I'll take you up there to see. See, everything looks good here. And then you go right there and you go, what's that? So it looks healthy, it looks green. It's getting water, but something's just, something's wrong with it. I'm not quite sure. It's just all wilting and drying up. Um, I'll be looking if any new growth comes out of here. I'm not quite sure what's wrong, um, but we'll have to monitor that. Other than that, I'm gonna have to start pushing all of this forward on the jazzberry because it's just too much now. And I'll probably do a video on how to do that separate from this one. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna work over here to the paradise, which is also looking very, very good. They, uh, they seem to never want to give up. Probably have more flowers on it than the bubblegum over there. Haven't had any problems with this. There's some still some old pieces that I trimmed away when I was cutting them back. And you'll see them right here that are still, I forgot to take them off. But other than that, everything's looking good. Again, all of them got damaged from rain. It was pretty much a downpour for six or seven days. But they're looking very nice right now. The silverberry is having another problem. It's just they seem to be the latest to the show. They're not flowering much. There's no problem with insects, none at all. It just seems like uh, they haven't really recovered yet from that rain. You see a lot of rot that happened and it dried out and died in some areas. And I'll show you underneath, it's kind of the same thing. All the underneath of Supertunias look like that anyway. Even if I lifted up those, you'd see that the underside gets dried out, the old growth. But the silverberry used to be very nice, but ever since the rain a few weeks ago, they haven't been right, but still alive and still going, just not going well. And again, there's no different treatment that that one is getting from anything else. But for some reason, 
It looks like that currently. And I think in the next two weeks, these bubble gums are gonna be popping again. You can tell. But anyway, uh, that'll be it for this video. As you can see, it's getting down there. But that'll be it for this video and make sure to tune in next time.